Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun fast Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Of course friends, step one is to get into Tinkercad, I always choose sign in with Google. Once we're there, we're going to do a new 3D design. Let's start by renaming it, I'm going to call this Gingerbread Person. We're going to do this with a few simple shapes. First, bring out a cylinder, hold down shift, let's stretch it, and I want you to type 25 for the number, and then we need to make the height 10 and press enter. I'm also going to take the sides, and I'm going to move them to 64, and let's make it one of the browns. Make sure you stick with these same sizes, because the idea for this one is to be making something that we can 3D print, or maybe turn into a cookie cutter. Now the second part is to bring out some scribble. Alright friends, this is one centimeter up here and this is where we're going to draw the neck. I need you to switch to this tool. We're going to go a little past the one centimeter mark and about halfway up. So I'm coming out here and I'm just curving out, going back, once again going past that line and curving in. That's going to be the neck for our cute little ginger person. Then we're going to make an arm that sweeps up. Notice that piece over there disappears as we sweep back. It's that slick. Now I'm going to make an arm that sweeps down. Now you may have to do this one or two times to get the result you want. I'm going to just stick with mine so that you can see how it can turn out. I will tell you, if you don't like a piece, switch to this tool, slice it off, and then just rebuild it. Or you can hit clear and rebuild it. So now I'm going to come back up here and sweep that down and through so it looks like I want I'm going to do the belly from just out here as well. I'm going to sweep across. I'm going down about two centimeters. And then I'm going to tell it done. I'm going to move it over into place. And you can see that is the start of our cute little ginger person. Notice it automatically comes in at the 10 millimeters. I'm going to bring in another piece of scribble. This time I'm going to come up here in the middle and I'm going to do the legs once again with that sweet sweeping tool. So I'm going to go a couple chunks out. I'm going to go a little wide, and then I'm going to slope back in just a little, and then I'm going to go over, and then I'm going to slope back out, and then I'm going to sweep up and make the other leg. Now, if you've got an area that's horrible, you can, of course, redo. You can also just fill it in by doing something like that, so a double fill in. If you like your gingerbread feet, which I think those are going to be okay, I'm going to bring them back together and I'm going to join them in place and friends just like that if you group it you will have an adorable little ginger person notice they put all the little pieces together all right friends so please remember you've got much more time to upgrade and make yours better than mine these legs are not good but the idea is for us to have fun and make a cool gingerbread man right now i'm going to show you how to decorate it so let's put the work plane on the body let's bring out a chunk of scribble and let's make a little scribble wiggle that we can add to the arms when you hit done bring it over to the arm where you want to put it squeeze it down make it skinny i'm going to tell you the number we want is two millimeters and i want you to make it a hole and then if we do control down twice it will sink in now i'm going to put this same decoration over on this arm but notice when i move it over here i'm going to have to rotate it get it so it looks the way you want remember you can squeeze it to get it so it fits i'm going to zoom out let's see if we can click on that little piece if you can't get a hold of it just hide things for a minute then click on it, do control D, move it with the arrow keys, do show all to bring it back, and I'm going to go put this down on the leg. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to click somewhere else and cancel that. Click back on the shape, do control D, move it across, and use show all to bring them back. So now I've got cute decorations on the legs. I'm going to go up here to the head, make sure the work plane's up here. Let's give cute little scribble eyebrows. Just make an eyebrow, hit done, same technique, set it to two, make it a hole, move it over where you want. I'm going to squeeze it and squish it so it looks just like I think it's supposed to. Do control D. I'm going to flip this one. So there are two. And then I'm just going to wait a second till I'm done with the eyes. Now you can make your eyes out of cylinders or you can use spheres be flexible i'm going to hold down shift and squeeze it and i'm going to choose the number four for the size of an eye you can choose five 
whatever you want. Once again, though, I am going to make it two millimeters for the height. Do my control D and move it to the other side. And let's move these all down at once. Real quick, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to grab these four shapes and do control down one, two to push them below. Now, when I hit show, you can see Gingy has a pretty cool little face. I can move those eyes wherever I want. If you want to change your nudge to something smaller, you can do that as well. And I'm going to give him a cute little Gingy smile. Once again, I'm going to do it with Scribble. It's still on that flat face. And then I'm going to give him this sort of smile. Watch this. We're just going to do the little kind of a shocked face. We're going to tell it done. We're going to make it two millimeters thick. We're going to make it a hole. And then we're going to put it in place. Remember squeezing it to get it to the exact spot you want. Let's look at it from the top. I think that's pretty groovy. That's the one I want. And then they'll set our nudge back to one millimeter so we can do control down and sink it in the two millimeters that it's supposed to be. All right, friends. So off camera, I added some more cylinders to cut out some buttons, gave them some more decorations on those legs. And friends, it is time to group our awesome gingerbread person. Bam. How fun is that? I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. And friends, I think that is a pretty darn sweet little gingerbread man. Now we're going to do something real quick. I want you to ungroup it. I want you to click on just the gingerbread shape. I want you to do control D, shift nudge to move it to the side. Let's go back to our decorated gingerbread person and do control G to group it or hit the group button. I'm gonna move it to this side and friends, this is really sweet. I want you to export it as a SVG. I'm gonna tell you to save it in your downloads and then as soon as you're done, you can delete the little person, choose import and bring that SVG and bring that SVG back. Now this gives us some sweet skills. Switch to plain art and just choose import. Now, when you see this, it'll look a lot like your real one, but it comes with these cool characteristics. Friends, if you come over here and hit outer line, switch to line width of one, so it's one millimeter. Instead of sharp corners, switch to round, and then bump that quality to 24. Boom, you have an instant cookie cutter. Now, to give it a little bit more strength, click on this and do Control D. Take the second one and make its height one millimeter and change its line width to two or three. I'm going to type three and press enter. And then if we grab those two and choose a line and choose center and center, boom, cookie cutter with supports for pushing down from the other direction after you print it. How slick is that? All right, everybody, so there it is, a fun and fast lesson. I just got mine done. I did not make it perfect. You've got lots more room to make yours unbelievably awesome. But as you can see, 3D printed ginger person, or you could also make the awesome cookie cutter. Both are super slick, and you could use that really epic SVG import tool. Friends, of course, when you're done, don't forget to hit the Tinkercad button to exit. That allows you to save your project. And then also, friends, you can click up here, hit properties, give it a good name, change your description, add some tags. And then if you make it public, I recommend no derivatives so that way users can see what you created, but they can't just copy what you created. And of course, other users could follow this tutorial. Then when you hit save changes, It'll then be visible for other people to check out in the gallery. Now, real quickly, the gallery works like this. When you first click on it, it shows staff picks. Instead of staff picks, though, you should hit recent. Yours may be one of the first ones in the list, but if not, make sure you still check out other people's designs and give them a reaction for the cool things they've created. Of course, you can always hit back in your browser to get back and check out more amazing Tinkercad creations. Friends, of course, I hope you had a ton of fun to learn some awesome skills. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. 
HL Mod Tackle. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.